Uh, do you feel like there's any abuse the here for Coddle? The Chen DK is a TI2 thing, sorry. The, uh, you, know, you know the cooldown two. reduction with Coddle's third chakra? skill? Uh, chakra. chakra. Is there any abuse here? Maybe like um, DK I'm stun or something? Can you know. almost perma stun? It's probably pretty close, like nine seconds. You can give it has you, like, a high a... uptime at least. Yeah. We've seen some teams try the Cuddle PL with mixed success. Um, oh. I think it was, who was it that picked, like, Insta pick Cuddle PL? Wasn't that uh, at Red Bull? Someone did that? I, I didn't watch the game. It's actually sick with Double Walk. That's a five oh, second yeah. cooldown on level four, right? Yeah. So you're uh, like Double Walk in? Ten. No, it's I think 10, it's four. Eight. Four seconds. Five. five. No, I think it's 20. It goes, it's like 25. 20, 10, yeah, 10, yeah, yeah right. Okay. Yeah. So you double ganger in, you fight. Oh, okay, if it was five, like there's seven. no way. That would be ridiculous. I was thinking. Double Walk two seconds. Right, is that five? No. So 10 second cooldown. I was thinking about the going in rush. Get out. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't work with that, right? It has to be an actively cast spell. Yeah. For, All right. Yeah. So Ooh. who's what? What's EG side? Who's supporting? Looks like a support Kunkka. Kunkka. Five position Kunkka. Support undying. Undying. Yeah. undying. yeah. Okay. It's so. a carry profit. Wow. Clear. Oh well. wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Boots first. That's right. Universe gonna be on Axe. So. Okay. Interesting. Undying Kunkka support duo, not what you'd expect. Misery gonna be on the support keeper of the light. You've got uh, Big Daddy Notel on Chen. We're gonna see Eternal Envy playing PL, and it looks like Brood in the hands of Bone Seven, rotating towards bottom, and that puts Fata. Now he's gonna be the mid laner on DK. Brood with Mango. It's interesting. Dude, Mango. I feel like that's one of the heroes okay. that doesn't really benefit that much well, really, from it. No, think. What about like you have if a lot you're of problems think about before pre, your yeah, soul ring? Pre soul ring, it's it's actually pretty big because you're gonna yeah. have probably two levels in your spiders. You can definitely harass somebody down with a little bit of poison attack. It's a looks like an undying prophet dual lane. If they have a sentry, that'll be okay, I guess. I, I assume they do because they've only used one so far. I just feel like when you say flame brood, you get soul ring when you're level three. Actually, like, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's what I'm generally considering when I think of heroes that benefit a lot from mango are heroes that are. Can I give a good example? Like Spirit Breaker. You charge. You have a very low mana pool, and you really need to reset it to continue your actions in the fight. Or a hero like Medusa, where you get mana shield up, but. Uh, Brood was not like in my category of heroes that you usually would see Mango on. I feel like it's a little. And because you have webs, I feel like you can just use clarities and just hide yeah. in your web for bits and clarity up. But... Just loves Mango, man. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. So it's been lane. I, they maybe one of the acts versus the Brood. Do you feel like Cloud9 kind of maybe predicted these lanes to some extent? Or no, Bone Seven did something pretty good. He went up to the top rune and he planted a war. Uh, Oh yeah, the web. So they thought the brood was top, and then they That's immediately swap. And and EG even blocked the pull camp with the sentry there, so they were anticipating C9 having some supports there at least. But uh, EG or C9, sorry, predicted that we or at least we saw E spot the plan. So they they were able to predict the lanes as soon as they saw that sentry go down. I think in addition with the the smart brood play. So yeah. Oh. That's so yeah, annoying. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tornado. It's the worst. He had pool tangos too. That's the worst. Yeah. He can't you can you could you sell for yeah, tornado? You can. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think you can if you're in the center, right? It depends. Yeah, on the like the damage yeah. depends on the oh range. Link salves. Okay. Oh, that's hard. It's pretty good, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Cinder said, kind of feels like all pick or even like an all random kind of draft here. Yeah. Got your the Kunk and Axe fighting over farm in the top lane. But, uh, where's Undying gonna lane? Like, cause like he can't lane bottom. Like, well, I, th I think it's good at level one though, cause then you have two people forcing the nice, and Brood has really bad base damage. So if you just Cloud Nine, have no idea about start. this. Oh, hasted Undying. They don't have a ward. This is. This is <laughs> oh, I think it's bad. We gotta lane the torrent. It's the only way. I think they oh, even without maybe, but yeah, get the torrent. And first blood goes to AUI. Radiant Vision. That hero with haste. My not in the top so lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one of the scariest. Level haste heroes. Yeah. <laughs> How's the CS mid? It's actually Dragonite winning. That's not something you see very often. Well, the tornado. Tornado. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that makes you win any mid. Yeah. You know. But Sumail is doing pretty good, even though he's got his bottle soon. Do you think that's worth sacrificing the Chen on though? Because obviously, if you have a tornado creep going, then you can't really farm in the meantime. You can yeah. stack, I guess. Yeah. But. I mean, he's just stacking anyway. So. I suppose. See. He still has a tornado. Yeah. He can clear the stacks. PL is vacated the top lane. It looks like may take what jungle actually just bottom lane and brute could TP top here. I don't think you want to be rotating the brute to the lane with the axe. It exactly. feels like that's the, the the wrong way around if anything. Uh, Maybe they're sharing. This yeah, let's say this feels like a laning issue for Cloud9 right now. 
Just your casual and dying boxing out of DK in mid. Yeah. <laughs> At level one. <laughs> Alright, so Brood is gonna actually TP top and meet the axe. But oh, he ate his mangoes. <laughs> Game changer. <laughs> and then Coddle chakras himself. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a good point though. <laughs> seemed like a weird mango use there. Very odd lanes game in general so far. The spiders can pressure the Conker really easily though. They got that going for him. I just I guess they're just like putting the brood there just to sacrifice. Like he generally won't die unless he gets like called into a torrent. No. I mean PL wasn't getting any form at all at top. Do you feel like either team has a sizable edge at the moment, Ninja Boogie? Um I don't know. It all depends who gets the level speed like ahead. You know, yeah. like you got EG with like such strong level six ultimates. They're finding kills across the map now as Envy goes down bottom lane, he's not getting farmed top or t or bottom. Oh, he couldn't get a auto attack on Fear. Fear with early phase boots and that really helps him out, gives him some extra killing potential. Tower is 
under attack. Sire's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack.
under attack. under attack.
under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's hot barracks are under attack. 